Hello everyone, this is Megan from KenHub, and welcome to another anatomy tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about the large intestine. The function of the large intestine is to absorb fluids and salts from the indigestible food matter, and to collect and eventually relieve the body of waste matter. This tutorial will go over some anatomical features specific to the large intestine, as well as discussing its different segments. To finish up the tutorial, we'll talk about a few pathological disorders, which are related to the large intestine. To begin this tutorial, we will describe the different sections of the large intestine. If we go through the length of the large intestine from left to right, we can see several sections. The large intestine is divided into the cecum with its vermiform appendix, the ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon, the sigmoid colon, and the rectum and anal canal. The first part of the large intestine that we'll talk about is the cecum. This is an intraperitoneal pouch-like structure that is about 7.5 centimetres in diameter. It is usually in contact with the anterior abdominal wall and sometimes may cross the pelvic brim to lie in the true pelvis. In the superior boredom of the cecum, we can see this invagination, known as the ileocecal valve or the ileopapilla. This structure is located just in the opening between the small and large intestine. This valve prevents reflux from the cecum to the ileum and regulates the passage of contents from the ileum to the cecum. In the next image, we can see the terminal portion of the ileum prior to the ileocecal junction. In addition, in the lateral wall of the cecum, we can see this fold of peritoneum, which is part of the mesentery. This large fan-shaped double-layered fold of peritoneum connects the jejunum and the ileum to the posterior abdominal wall and its inferior end. As you can see in the top right image, it lies at the ileocecal junction. The second part of the large intestine we will talk about today is the vermiform appendix. The vermiform appendix is a narrow, hollow and blind-ended 4-inch tubular intraperitoneal structure. It arises from the posteromedial side of the cecum, and it has large aggregations of lymphoid tissue in its walls. If you look carefully here near its base, it's suspended from the terminal ileum by its mesenteric fold, which is known as the mesoappendix, and which contains the appendicular blood vessels. Another important point to remember here is that although the point of attachment to the cecum is rather stable, the location of the rest of the appendix varies considerably. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.